Hello, the internet. Welcome to the first of two videos for round two, the round of 32. We're going to go over the north and west divisions, um, the outcomes, uh, some possible matchups going into uh, the Sweet 16 that you definitely want to look out for. Um, the top uh, eight are the north division, the bottom eight are the west division. The outside rows, so the top and bottom rows, are the favorites. The middle two rows are the underdogs. Although, in some cases, underdogs are a little bit of a quotation because we did have some um, interesting um, uh, uh, events occur due to the play-in games that came in, and there were a couple of them in this particular uh, part of the bracket. So we're going to start off in the North Division. We're going to start off with our one versus nine seed, uh, because the Dominion, the nine seed, uh, had a slight upset in the first round, one of our few slight upsets in the first round, where it went up against Star Realms. Uh, Star Realms, of course, is the game that won last year. And, of course, as always, uh, we always like Star Realms, and it got an 18 and a half again. A lot of 18 and a half in this round, so Star Realms may not be the shoe win that it was last year. Um, Dominion... Dominion is an interesting game because sometimes you get a good combination of cards that make the game fun. Sometimes you get ones that are kind of lame and boring. We got the Witch and no way to get rid of the Curses. And I didn't read the rules carefully enough to know that you were only supposed to have 10 Curses in a two-player game. And so the game went down to who could get the most Witches out the first and throw the most Curses at the other person. And it was not a very fun game. And so it scored a fifth Team, which is the lowest score so far in the second round. Um, all the teams moving on to the second round all scored at least 16 or higher. So this one is going to probably drop from what would have been an 8 seed all the way down to probably a 12 seed for next year's tournament. So Star Realms is moving on with an 18 and a half versus 15, the biggest win so far in this round and probably will be because I don't see anything dominating that. And the, so Star Realms is going to go up against the winner of this game. Um, this would be the 4-5 game normally, but um, Jump Drive was one of the playing games um, that came in. It was the, I think, the number two playing game. Um, so it jumped the four seed uh, Axis and Allies that underperformed in the first round. And it showed why it should be in the second round because it went off and uh, 18 and a half, same score Star Realm. So that should be a really interesting Sweet 16 matchup. We could see our biggest upset of the tournament in that round. Um, Lord of the Rings only got a 16 and a half. So Jump Drive is moving on to face Star Realms. And these two will get back, put back on the shelf until next year. Good games, but not as good as those two. All right. For our 3-6 matchup, although the 6 uh, got replaced by first class. First class was one of the, I think, the number 4 team in the plans. Um, and it went up against the Legend of Drist. Uh, Legend of Drist scored a 17. First class dropped down to only a 16. And so... Legend Address knocks off the play-in game and will move on to the next round. Where it will face the winner of the 2-7 matchup, although the 7, again, got knocked out because of the plan. So, Sapiens... Sorry, no, 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 sorry that, was the, that was the other one. <laughs> Take that back. So, the 2-7. This one was our closest one of the first round. So Well, one of the closest ones of the, so far in the first round. The closest one of the North Division. Uh, ticket to Ride. Now it says Ticket to Ride France, but we don't like the France version, so we play the one we like the best. This one has two versions, France and Old West, so we played the Old West. Um, the Old West got a 17.75. It is the it is the two seed. The seven seed Sapiens, which is a game I actually bought by accident. <laughs> I was at a board game auction, and the game that came before it was um, um, kind of a nostalgia game, <laughs> Mega Man X. And I had written a price I wanted to bid for that game, but I wrote it on the wrong line. I wrote it for the line for this game. And so when this game came up, I was the only bidder. I won it like nine bucks. 
and it's been a game we really like. And it scored a 17 and a half. So very close game, but Old West just barely taking the W and knocking off Sapiens. So Sapiens will be a really high seat next year. It'll be much higher than the seven seat it was this year. So maybe it'll get a little bit further in the tournament next year. So that means next round, Sweet 16, we're gonna have Ticket to Ride Old West versus Legend of Trust. And if you wanna know what kind of games they are, I do explain them in the previous videos. So go back to the first round videos and I'll talk about what these games are. But moving on to the West Division and our one seed in the West Division is Titan, which is my favorite game, uh, my favorite board game of all time, taking on Catan, which I actually played a Catan tournament in the, the most recent uh, 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 um, uh, games uh, convention, uh, Hoosier Con. That was a really fun tournament to play in. I look forward to playing in the national tournament later in the year. Um, but anyhow, uh, Titan scored uh, 18 and a half, which is much better than the 17 it scored in the last round, because if it had done that, it would have gotten knocked out of the tournament, because Catan was not too far behind with a 17 and a half. So Catan is out. Titan moves on to the next round where it will face the winner of Planet Defenders, the four seed versus Naruto, which was the number three game of the plans. Um, it took the, the, took this particular spot. Uh, I don't remember offhand who they took. Go back to the last round and they'll be told. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, number two, one of our, uh, is quickly becoming one of our favorite games, and it scored an 18, so lots of high scores. Um, Plant Defenders, a very fun game, um, but it's not as good, it's, it's not as heavy a game as some of the others. Um, it only scored a 17, which is better than it did in the last round, but not enough to move on. So Naruto knocks off Planet Defenders and will face up against Titan in the Sweet 16. So some of those some of those playing games showing why they're here. So that that's uh, two playing games that moved on already. Um, and the third one, or well the fourth one, because one one didn't. So we have two more playing games here. Um, Power Grid versus Castles of Burgundy. Castle of Burgundy was the sixth seed, so Power Grid was taken over for the three seed. It won the playing tournament, and so it took over the three seed of Eldest Science that did not do so well, only got a 15 and a half the first round. Power Grid showing why it was why it earned its spot in the round. It scored an 18. Castles of Burgundy is one of those games, great strategy game. We every time we play it, we seem to like it just a little bit more. Um, and well, at least my kid seems to like it a little bit more. I've always liked it. Um, and so it got brrr, an 18, a tie, 18 to 18. So what do we do when there's a tie? We vote on which one we like better. And I voted on Power Grid and he said he liked them both equally. So Power Grid is moving on to the next round. Castle of Burgundy. The top team that is out to this round with an 18. So if you're so if you're you're keeping up, uh, the winning scores of 18 and a half, 18 and a half, 17, 17.75, 18 and a half, 18 and 18, with one losing team of 18. <laughs> with the second low, the highest losing a couple 17 and a half set loss. So. Um, this is going to be probably a three seed next year, maybe a four seed, depending upon how many are 18 stayed 18. Uh, the seeding for next year will be based on the last game that got play, played in this year, whatever its ranking is. So Castle Burgundy will be sporting an 18 for next year's um, seeding, whereas Dominion will be sporting a 15. So it'll be like way lower down and it will be the underdog in the first round next round. But Power Grid moves on, where it will face the battle of our last matchup for this part of this round. Um, Bella Magica versus Rick and Morty, the Cryptozoic, uh, uh, Close Encounters with Rick Kind, uh, the Cryptozoic deck building game, which you're probably thinking, why you let a little kid play that? There's only two cards in there. 
that are really so bad that you need to take them out. They're both vocation cards and it does not affect the play at all. Just take those cards out, they don't exist, and the game plays perfectly fine. Game we really, really like, one of our favorite Cryptozoic games. Um, we really like our Cryptozoic games, um, except for maybe Lord of the Rings is probably the one we like the least of the four that we have, and it's not moving on. But um, it scored an 18 and a half, so it could go up against Star Realms, or Jump Drive, whoever wins that battle, could be facing um, Rick and Morty for the champion, for, uh, to, for, uh, 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 for a chance to play for the championship. We'll see. Uh, lots of things could happen next round um, in the run after that. Um, Bellamentrica, a decent game. Um, game we just got recently, so this is the only second time we played it. Scored once again a 16. It's a fun little game. Um, we got it for half price. It was like 15 bucks. Definitely worth what we paid for it. Fun little game. But only 16, so it's not going to be competing for the championship. But it's a good game. It picked up pretty far. Um, you know, I made it the second round, and that, uh, not a lot of games do that. So Rick and Morty facing off against Power Grid. That is going to be a hell of a matchup. Naruto versus Titan is going to be a hell of a matchup. Because these, this 18 and a half versus 18, 18 and a half versus 18, what a pair of competitions that that's going to be in the next round. The, the, the West division is a become a really, really tough division. Who will make it out out of those four? Those four? Flip a coin. I mean, I swear, flip a coin. Let me know in the comments which one you think should go um, and which ones you don't. <laughs> But this is going to be, that's going to be quite the, quite the matchup. And then going back to the north, we've got Ticket to Ride, Old West versus Legend of Drist. Um, and this one, Old West definitely has, has, the, uh, has the advantage. But could Legend of Drist, which is a game that seems to get a little bit better each time we play it. And the last couple of times we played, we played some pretty cool bosses. Um, could it pull up the ups, upset? It's not too far off. It's very possible. Um, although uh, my money goes on the... Uh, goes on Old West, uh, uh, the two seed, taking out the three. But we'll see. And then, of course, this one is going to be possibly a, a tournament-changing matchup. Star Realms versus Jump Drive, two really good games. Uh, you know, this this could go either way. It really could. So that's what we're looking at for the, for the Sweet 16. Um, stay tuned for the uh, other half of the round of 32, which is the south and east brackets. Um, those will, will be up um, right now as I'm recording this. Um, I'm going to be a couple days away from posting the, uh, um, uh, the, the video with the breakdown of the publishers. Um, to kind of continue that, we've got, uh, you know, uh, White Wizard. Rio Grande, uh, Wizards, Days of Wonder, uh, Cryptozoic, Rio Grande, Cryptozoic, Avalon Hill. So that's two Cryptozoics, uh, two Rio Grandes, and Avalon Hill, Wizards of the Coast, um, Days of Wonder, and then one that uh, we only have two games of, so it wasn't in the, the last presentation, but got an honorable mention. Um, by the way, another dishonorable mention to AEG. <laughs> We really hated those games. You could go back to the plans and see that the AEGs we had in the plans, we both kicked out of the library. But um, but that that's what we've got for this round. Um, lots of we're getting to the point where it's all really good games, and uh, now we get to see the best of the bust and play the best of the best. So we'll round out the round of thirty-two and start the sweet sixteen because that's going to be a, when when it gets really really fun. I mean, it's fun before, but. This is where it gets really, really fun because these are all games that we don't just like, we love. So um, hopefully you've been following the tournament. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of what to do with your own games. And, uh, you know, do do this at your home and uh, see which, which of your games is the champion and which ones um, you realize that uh, aren't for you <laughs> and get rid of. Because that's the big, one of the big purposes of this. So until next time, um, which will be probably a week after, a little bit more than a week after I post this, because you know, 16 games probably takes us three weeks, you know, give or take, 
and I've got about two weeks worth of videos to, to launch at this point. So stay tuned. I'm maybe a little late in doing the next video, but um, hopefully you enjoy this and um, until next time.